Hi guys, Rue here from Prepare Camping and today I'm going to use these uh, ripped old shorts here to make some char cloth. Now for things to burn you need a fuel source, heat and oxygen. So the idea is if we remove the oxygen uh, the material will char rather than burn. I know many of you guys will already know how to do this uh, and probably probably do do it <laughs> but this is just in case someone's new to the to bushcrafting uh, or fire starting and this is really for them really so let's go so guys I've just used a pair of scissors to trim the, uh, the cloth up into a few little strips here and I'll just put it inside the tin um, now you don't want to overfill your tin I'm only going to put five or six pieces in here now um, but the point is that you need to give it a little bit of room so, because gases are going to come off of that. Um, I've seen lots of people put a hole in, in the tin somewhere, but I mean, these hinges, you know, it's not airtight, so the gas will just come out there. So, now that that's in there, let's start a fire and get it going. So guys, we'll give this about 10 minutes or so just to, to burn burn the paint off the tin, I suppose, and uh, and to char the cloth. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, so I let this burn for about 10 minutes or so, uh, and then I removed it from the fire and I've let it cool down. Now you can see here that, that it's all charred nicely inside the tin. Uh, all the gas you know, has, has managed to escape fine. Um, so yeah, you can you can pierce the, the lids of these Altoid tins if you want, but but I really don't think you have to. You can get away with it. Um, and this this char cloth is brilliant. It's making fire with fire basically. Uh, this will take any uh, spark that you get against it. See here, there, we've well, got one there. So um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, if if you did, please give it a like and maybe consider subscribing. And if you've got any questions or feedback, chuck them in the box below.